lions. The lion is the king of beasts and husband of the lioness. Gazelles and things on which he feasts address him as your highness. There are those that admire that roar of his in the African jungles and belts. But I think that wherever the lion is, I'd rather be somewhere else. jackass. Have you ever harked to the jackass wild, which scientists call the onager? It sounds like the laugh of an idiot child or a hepcat on a harmonica. But they do not sneer at the donkey wild. There is a method in his hee-haw, for with maidenly blush and accent mild, the jenny ass answers, she-haw. tortoise. Come crown my brow with leaves of myrtle. I know the tortoise is a turtle. Come carve my name in stone immortal. I know the tortoise is a turtle. I know to my profound despair, I bet on one to beat a hare. I also know I'm now a pauper because of its tortly, turtly, torpor.
the elephant. Elephants are useful friends, quipped with handles at both ends. They have a wrinkled moth-proof hide. Their teeth are upside down, outside. If you think the elephant preposterous, you've probably never seen a rhinoceros. <laughs> Kangaroos. The kangaroo can jump incredibly, has to jump, because he is edible. I could not eat a kangaroo, but many fine Australians do. Those with cookbooks as well as boomerangs prefer him in tasty kangaroo meringues. <laughs> The aquarium. Some fish are minnows, some are whales. People like dimples, fish like scales. Some fish are slim and some are round. They don't get cold, they don't get drowned. But every fishwife fears for her fish what we call mermaids, they call merfish.
pianists. <laughs> Some claim that pianists are human and quote the case of Mr. Truman. <laughs> Sanson, on the other hand, considered them a scurvy band. A blight they are, he said, and Simeon, instead of normal men and women. Fossils. At midnight in the museum hall, the fossils gathered for a ball. There were no drums or saxophones, but just the clatter of their bones. Rolling, rattling, carefree circus of mammoth pokas and mazurkas. Pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mess sardonic rustle, I caught the eye of one small fossil. Cheer up, sad world, he said, and winked. It's kind of fun to be extinct. The swan. The swan can swim while sitting down. For pure conceit, he takes the crown. He looks in the mirror over and over and claims to have never heard of Pavlova.
the grand finale. Now we've reached the grand finale, Animali, Carnivali, Noises New to Sea and Land, issued from a skillful band. All the strings contort their features, imitating crawly creatures. All the brasses look like mumps from blowing umpa, umpa, umps. And now doing Barnum and Bailey and Ringling, Sanson has done a miraculous thingling.